Hey, I'm Brad, and on today's simple build, we're going to build a laundry pedestal for a coworker. You're for joking, that. right? I mean, seriously, look at your background. It's a garage door. What do you want me to do? It looks worse than the pile of junk in the corner. I'll tell you what, in today's simple build, we're going to build theater flats. That's coming up. So there are two types of flats you'll find. One is a Hollywood flat, the other is a Broadway flat or stage flats. The difference comes down to how you position the boards to make the frame on the back. Both flats are typically made out of one by four boards that make up the styles or the vertical boards and the rails which are the horizontal boards. On a Hollywood flat, these are built like a box to help the flat stand up better for semi-permanent structures. We are going to make stage flats, which look more like a picture frame. It saves space on the stage, but it's safe for temporary structures. In the end, both types are covered with some type of material like Luan or muslin, which make up the wall. On our flats, we're going to give it a more industrial feel and use cedar planks so the wood walls can be used later for Halloween. All right, so for this design, like we said, we're going to have styles and a rail. Uh, the top and bottom are called rails. You'll want to put one in the middle as well for support. That's called a toggle. And they're basically the same type of tip board as the rail. What we're going to do with this, we want to make a 4x8 flat. And so what we're going to do with this is basically do 40, 43 inches for the rails. And then these will be 8 foot for the styles and the toggle will be the same now on a regular flat you can also put in bracing we're not going to do braces because this board's going to be pretty stable with the one by sixes on it plus we're going to go ahead and glue those down because i want this to be a long time board normally you would also put in a corner piece right here just a triangle piece of luan or other like type of plywood uh, that is a joint to hold the braces together, we're going to use pocket hole screws. Now the last thing that's going to be different about this is this top rail, we're actually going to put a 45 degree angle on because that's going to serve as a French cleat to hang the flats on our wall. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the joints on this. Um, this is pretty darn close to three quarters of an inch, just a hair short on that. So we're gonna set the, the jig to three quarter. On the back of this jig, we've said before, uh, it is marked, and you're gonna set this, the jigs to the thickness of the wood. If you've got nothing else and you don't wanna buy the big fancy jigs, these little micro jigs work just fine. Same thing on the, the collar. Inside the, the box, there's marks, and we put the drill bit in. It says, what, three quarters of an inch is. Set that collar to that distance, and you're good to go. Um, we already had this one set to three quarters, so we should be good. Now, to make sure that we have the orientation right on the wall, your cleat, let's say that this tabletop is the wall, your cleat would go with the bot or with the actual cleat itself on the outside. You, I've seen people actually climb the walls as if it's a rock climbing wall on their cleats just to show that they're sturdy. Um, I'm not strong enough to do that, so we're not going to test it that way. I just want to make sure I have the orientation right before I start drilling, because otherwise I'll drill on the wrong side. Our top rail is going to slide basically down inside of that. It does rock just a little bit, just because the board is warped. Uh, you know, but for what we're doing, this is just holding it in place. It's not structural. It is not going to be uh, something that uh, is going to fall off the wall because the the weight of it is just to keep it stable on the wall. So this is the side that we want to to do. So I'm just going to put an arrow on each end just so that I remember that's where I need to go. 
in case we move the boards. When we set this up again, you're going to set the drill in there and you want to clamp this down to the end. So to do that, we're just going to use a cheap Harbor Freight clamp instead of using the $40 clamp that is made for this. This is exactly the same. All right, so on those French cleats, the front edge, because we did a 45 degree angle on it, is just super sharp. What I'm gonna do is just come across this with the sander and, and break the edge so that we don't cut ourselves on it. So we're not, so we, so we, so we don't cut ourselves on it. Words are hard. Words are hard. When I do pocket hole joints, I don't use the expensive screws. I use, uh, I know these are still expensive, but I use deck screws. Um, it's just, uh, they're a little bit cheaper, especially with the quantities that come in the boxes. And they work just fine for this. This wood is just all kinds of twisted. Um, be careful when you're selecting wood for a project, especially for the big box stores. You know, when I'm building for Halloween, it really doesn't matter. It's Halloween. Things are supposed to be crooked. They're supposed to be at angles. That's what helps to make this give that scare factor or whatever you want to call it. Um, the spooky factor but uh, if you're using this for a furniture or something else save yourself the embarrassment and go get good wood every one of these pieces is just going to split out on me alright so because our cleat needs to be able to catch on the wall this is actually going to get flipped over and attached to this board thought was to actually use a nail gun and glue this down however because of how twisted things are I kind of need those need screws to go ahead and pull it together so I'll go ahead and sink one into the corner line it up and hope it doesn't split Give you a closer view of what this is going to look like with the French or this French cleat. Uh, basically, the wall will be on this side of it, and the board will just go up and slide right down on top of it and just hang nice and tight right there. Alright, so we've got all the boards nailed down in a nice pattern. 
Now all we're going to do is come back with a circular saw and clean up the edges. My Simple Builds is all about learning to make stuff. I learn something new every time I build. If you found the information in this video helpful, then please give it a like and share it with others. If you would also like to see more content, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. My goal is to post a new video every week with projects from around the house for my Halloween builds and theater design. Your subscription will help me reach the magic number of 1,000 subscribers. Also, if you have an idea for a build, please let me know in the comments below or send me an email. And now, back to the build. Thanks for watching this build. We have a lot more to do to finish this project. In a later video, I'll show you how we're going to age these walls to give them a more grungy look, which works for both, both that industrial vibe and easily fits into a Halloween project. Keep building, and remember, learning is doing. Until next time, I'm Brad, and this has been My Simple Builds.